Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're doing a video on how to exactly dial in your grinder. But before we get going, please subscribe and help me grow my channel. As with anything, fresh is always better. So today I'm using beans that I recently roasted myself. I roasted them to about light, medium roast. If you've seen my previous videos before, we have talked a lot about the variables you need to control with your espresso machine. So today, we're focusing specifically on the ground size. Now, your machine may be different, your grinder may be different, however, in principle, they all work the same. So my grinder has 16 settings, with 16 being the coarsest, and 1 being the finest. So as you can see here, I'm going through all the settings, and I think for the first try, I'll stop at number 10. With the final adjustment set, I'll grab the portal filter and put it on the scale. Now today, I'm shooting for a 16 gram dose, and I'll do that manually here. Now the reason I'm grinding manually is because it allows me more control. Now the first try, I got to about 10 grams, so I needed a little bit more than that. So I'll give it another shot here and see where we are. Almost there on the second try, just need a little bit more to get to 16 grams. Almost there, but not quite. Need just one more gram to finish this out. I realize I'm being picky here, but we really need to control this variable. So on this one, looks like I overshot it a little bit. So I'll remove some of the ground coffee to get to 16 even. And we're there. So let's go ahead and remove the portal filter. Distribute the coffee a little bit with my hand and then use the palm distributor, tamp it, and then brew some coffee. Great first try, but this is not it. We need to continue to work on the grind setting. I'm thinking we go from a 10 to now a 7. It doesn't actually look too bad, but I know that it's not going to taste great. So I'm not even going to try this one as I know it's going to be pretty sour. So let's knock the puck out and try again. As I said, we'll go from a 10 to a 7 and see where we go from there. The reason I put the empty portafilter filter on the scale is because I want to get to the base weight. So now I'll tear it and get to zero and then put the coffee in the portafilter filter and measure it from there. So again, we're shooting for 16 grams. So on the first try, looks like we're about 10 grams. So we need just a little bit more. This time we got to 13 grams, which is closer, but still not there. We need to be exactly at 16. Looks like we overshot it a little bit again, so we'll need to remove some of that coffee and throw it away so we get to 16 grams even. The built-in grinder on the Barista Express is great and convenient, but it is not the most accurate. Okay, so it looks like we're at 16 grams, so let's go ahead and try again. We'll take the portafilter, filter distribute it with the palm distributor, and then use the tamper. Now the reason I really like the palm distributor is that it really helps me stay consistent with my tamp.
And here's a close-up of the second attempt. It already sounds better. The machine sounds better. The pre-infusion sounds better. So the second attempt was a little bit better, but the flow is still a little fast. What we need to do here is we need to continue to work on the grind setting and maybe make it a little bit finer to get to that flow that we're looking for at about 30 seconds. Overall though, the shot looks pretty good. Okay, so let's knock that puck out, clean the portafilter, filter and try again. Now keep in mind, the first shot was at number 10 setting. From there, we went to a number 7. That was an okay shot, but still not great. Now, I think we'll go to a number 3 and see what that produces. Here we go again. So let's measure the weight of the portafilter and then tear it so we get to 0. From there, we'll get some coffee into the portafilter and see where we are. At this point, you know the story, we need more coffee. So we'll go ahead and get some more coffee and measure it again. Almost there, just need a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and get a little more and this time I'm going to try very hard not to overshoot it. Well, I know you won't be surprised, but we overshot it by a little bit, so we'll need to remove some of that coffee. So we'll remove some of that, get to 16 exactly, and then try again and see where we are. Again, distributing it a little bit with my hand, then using the palm distributor, and then tamping. Well, the puck looks great, and better than the previous shots, I have a feeling that we're pretty close. So let's pull a shot and see what happens. Well, the pre-infusion sounds great. I think we're there. So let's see what happens with the shot. But to me, it looks pretty good. Well, this shot definitely looks and sounds better than the previous ones. I think from first drip to end of the shot, it was about 31 seconds, which is well within the window. And then look at the crema. The crema looks great, and I'm sure this shot would taste great. Well, guys, that is how you dial in your grinder. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next videos.